POCO X3 Pro on this channel is no longer a device that we make videos on. It is an emotion because whenever, you know, I'm missing out on uploads as well, the amount of people that message me on Telegram, the amount of people that actually comment on the channel that when is the next video for POCO X3 Pro coming, it's it's very good to see that. The last time I felt something like this was either, was either with the K20 Pro or with the POCO F1. Hello everyone, my name is Kalash and welcome to yet another review of Evolution x for the poco x3 pro now just a week back we made this video and you must be wondering why are we doing this again this time it's going to be a little bit about the rom itself and more about the customization this might be a video which will be more than 10 minutes here but when you look at the amount of customization it offers you will be amazed to see what a custom rom can do and you would wish that even if it is a xiaomi 13 pro if it had a custom rom with miui camera you might as well give it a try now without further ado hello awesome people Welcome to Phone Ops. Let's get going. This is Evolution X 7.9.6 Paris or Paris, whatever you want to call it. Official update. Updated on the 31st of July and we are on, I think, 13th of August right now. So it's two weeks old. Now, July security patch is finally here. Add combined signal icons, quick setting header images. This is a change log which is mostly boring, so I'm not going to read through that. Device change log switch to aperture camera. I liked, you know, the Leica camera better, but that's okay. Uh, update carrier config from Munch. That is the Poco F4. Merge CLO tag. Compile with ASP Clang. G apps build. SE Linux status enforcing. Now, once again, you know, let me give you the basic info first and real quick. If you're wondering about safety net passes, banking applications will not be a problem on this. Wideband L1, let me show you real quick in DRM info. You do have L1 certifications, so Prime videos and Netflixes should be working absolutely fine. Is this a good ROM for gaming? This is definitely a good ROM for gaming. It will not give you 90 FPS, but hey, it will get the job done. Even if you're streaming directly from the phone, you will get 40 to 45 FPS, and most of the people cannot stream from this phone because it's an old phone. Anyways, I would not recommend you pushing your POCO X3 Pro to the limits by installing a kernel mod, doing this, doing that, because this device has an inherent hardware problem and most of your POCO X3 Pros these days are out of warranty. So if your device were to die and you don't have the extended warranty, you would probably end up at least spending 20,000. So save yourself some money, use these custom ROMs, but don't overclock your phones, don't push it with a mod, don't enable 90 FPS, and this is specifically for the POCO X3 Pro. Heck, my Mi 11X died without me doing anything and that device is stable as a rock. So anyways, getting back to the point, if we go to settings over here, you will see that you don't have much that has changed. Everything is absolutely the way it was and everything is the way it should be. But what we're gonna to highlight today is the Evolver. In a lot of videos, I've not told you much about the Evolver, but let's quickly dive into it, enable it and see what exactly changes, right? So if we go to themes over here and go to theming settings, you can see theming style. You can be muted, you can have a tonal theming style which means it will look a little different you can have vibrant which means the colors will look that much different and then you can have spirits and once again you know the whole feel in terms of aesthetic changes for the device so that in my opinion is a good thing now moving on if we then go to color source you can select what wallpaper you want to have as a color source now this is you know this is definitely innovation. This is taking Google's Monet to the next level. So if you have a different wallpaper on the lock screen and you want Monet to follow that, you can do that. At the same time, you can go ahead and select a color of your choice too, which in my opinion is a good thing. I think auto brightness is off, right? Yes, it is off. Okay, now moving on, you can have accent background color selection here as well. And you can select what type of luminous, chroma and tint background you want. So those are options that you will never see on a stock ROM. Now moving on, you have dark theme is dark theme. You can schedule it, enable it, disable it. This is a LCD panel, so you will never get those AMOLED blacks and stuff like that. Now apart from this, there's definitely a font customization over here. You can immediately change the font without rebooting the device. Unlike MIUI, you can directly change the icon pack for the status bar from here. You can go ahead and change the signal icon style to a thousand different things. As you can see over here, it changes that immediately. Wi-Fi icon style 
style can be updated as well which in my opinion is lot of customization you can select what kind of icon shape do you want and then you can also choose the nav bar style that you want if you use nav bar in 2023 at least i don't use nav bar but trust me i know a lot of friends who still choose to use nav bar okay now moving on you have notifications over here you can see and enable reticker you can enable landscape only use app colored background notification sound if app active which means play sound and vibration for notifications when the screen is on right kill app button is something you can enable there is a notification light available over here so you can enable or disable it for specific applications and battery light is something you can enable in different scenarios like when fully charged if it's in the, do not disturb or if the battery is low now i'm going to rush through a few things over here because again i want to keep it short and crisp for you guys so let's quickly see what all customizations are available blink flashlight on incoming calls now you have this option on stock mi ui but you have customizations on this option in evolution x that's the beauty of a custom rom the moving on you have vibrate on connect vibrate on call waiting and vibrate on disconnect now these three options are something that i always use even if it is a stock rom or a custom rom now next up we're going to talk about quick settings and once again you have a ton of customization over here combined elements as you can see you can select color pop oh this looks different uh if you are from india this looks like govind i'm not trying to make fun of him much respect but he wears colorful clothes like these and then you can have cyberpunk theme over here so let's see here oh the very loud colors and then you can have outline which i think looks good and hide labels so you will just see icons you know these small small things a lot of people will install custom roms but they will not bother trying these options people forget that custom roms are not only about smoothness and performance there is a lot of customization power that is available in these roms right now moving on you can you know enable the label text size i will remove hide label you can have vertical layout over here as you can see columns columns landscape quick settings header image battery style you can change the battery style here battery percentage you can go ahead and change as you can see hide quick settings in secure lock screen that is a good option this is a quick pull down that means if you enable it from the right side it will directly go all the way down but from the left it will just go this much down brightness slider style you can change that as well can you beat that see the brightness slider now go ahead and change it to bang i don't know why they would name that but as you can see it looks different moving on you can select the position you can have haptic feedback you can select the animation for these quick tiles for example if i were to turn bluetooth on this is how it looks and you can select it to be fast as well there you go now you can decide overshoot you can decide the footer text and you can customize the footer text as well now once again moving on you know you can go to the power menu there is a ton of options that you can enable in the customization for the quick settings or the power menu you can have so many gestures over here the system gestures of course the tap ones are available you can have brightness control you can have partial screenshot you can have flashlight when screen off for a shortcut tap on lock screen double tap on lock screen tap on status bar so wow i'm already tired the amount of customization this roms offer now you have lock screen customization here as well you can have the ambient music ticker edge light use edge light always trigger on pulse repeat animation color wallpaper color you can customize that to the wallpaper color as well can you beat that and you can have ripple effect over your fingerprint authentication vibration and the error vibration as well now of course this is a buttons menu so there's not much that we're going to talk about this is either about the volume button or the power button moving on you have animation so you can go ahead and make a lot of changes to the screen of animation for that matter so there you go it turns off like a crt tv and power menu you can select how it appears as you can see it slide it from there and then you have miscellaneous in which you have pocket detection parallel space you have this very elaborate game space if you want to know details on this watch the full review that i previously posted it is linked somewhere here but as you can see i have added all the apps and even for per app you get a preferred mode like performance or standard mode right 
Now, apart from miscellaneous, you have dedication to the team. So all in all, if you ask me, Evolution X has a ton of customization features, but we are not done yet. I will still tell you what you want to know, what you love to know about custom ROMs. That is the benchmark numbers for this update, right? Now, if we talk about Antutu benchmark over here, you have 712,102, which in my opinion is a pretty decent score. The temperature increased by 7.5 degrees Celsius and the battery dropped by 4%. Now, if we further go to Google Photos over here, so that we can see the CPU throttle test, right? So let's see here. The CPU throttle to 88%, that is an improvement over the previous update. 205, 175 is the average score and the maximum score is 228, 991. So that is better than my GT Neo 3T, which has a Snapdragon 870 on Realme UI. And apart from this, if we talk about Geekbench, 1000 single core, 2846 multi core. So, all in all, Evolution X is definitely a daily driver. I don't know why they have replaced the MIUI Leica camera, but apart from that, I'm super happy with it. I'm recommending it to you to use it as a daily driver or for gaming. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to cover more custom ROMs and explain to you which ROM has what customization and what it does. I'll see you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.